I am as shocked as you to be introducing another, another, another. And hello, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic people of the internet. I hope that you are ready because the month has officially come to a close and that means that yes, today we are here doing my month end favorites. And I am so freaking excited. I love filming these videos because it's a really good way to just sit down, recap the month. And I think this month is really special because for the first time in a long time, I have been gravitating towards products in a favorites video that I oftentimes don't. Like yes, you know, I have a blush in here and I have a couple of the regular hitters, but there's also stuff in here that's just so different for me that I feel like I don't often get to find something that I'm really drawn to. So I'm just going to kind of lump them all together and talk about the items that I have been loving, loving from the L'Oreal Age Perfect Collection. Now, this is a video that I did put up, I think maybe like a month or so ago. I'll link it up here. I went through and I did a full review of the entire collection, the uh, foundation, the concealer, the powder, the blushes, the lip products. I mean, you name it, I played around with it. And ever since then, there have been some key products that I have just been loving so so, so much. Now, out of all the items that I have been drawn to in this collection that are in this video, there are two that I have been drawn to more than any other. So those are the ones I'm going to start with. The first of which are their Age Perfect Anti-Feathering Lip Liners. These are so freaking fantastic, especially if you're like me and you are really prone to feathering lips. Oh my God, right here. Anytime I put on a gloss, it feathers. Anytime I put on even a satin lipstick, it feathers. And it's just because I have a lot of those little, little micro wrinkles. And you know what, guys? That is just life. I'm not going to sit here and cry about it. I'm just going to find a solution. And the solution is these anti-feathering lip liners because they actually work. And oh my God, I couldn't be more excited to talk about these. So first things first, I have the shades that I wear the most here. This is the shade 10 Bright Mocha, which is like a almost a light metallic kind of brown shade, which sounds a little off-putting, but with gloss over top of it, it is absolutely stunning. Uh, the other shade that I've been using a lot is the shade 50 Nude Pink, beautiful color. And then the one out of the three that I purchased that I've used the least is this one, which is 80 Rich Cranberry. And even though I've used it the least amount out of all three of them, it's still a beautiful shade. And all three of them, again, regardless of shade, tone, texture, what I paired them with, they actually work. They do completely eliminate feathering, I would say, for the vast majority of glosses in days. I do notice on some days at the very end that I still have a little feathering, but compared to what it was where, I mean, within 15 minutes, my lips were just spider cracked. It was just not cute. Um, compared to that, these are just a lifesaver. And I've heard a bunch of you guys actually mention that L'Oreal has another anti-feathering line that isn't a part of their Age Perfect collection. And I am definitely going to check those out because if that formula is anything like this, oh my word, these are so good. Like I highly, highly recommend these. I think that out of all the products in this collection, this is such an appropriate item because as you think about it, the whole point of the collection was Age Perfect. You know, as you age, you're going to start to have like more fine lines and wrinkles and things like that which I'm 30. I have plenty of those. And as that kind of happens, it's difficult to find products that work for you, you know, here and there, especially when it does come to around your mouth and your lips start to feather and whatnot. And this is just one of those items that it's so appropriate for the collection because I can see so many women, regardless of age, you know, whether they're 30 at my age and you have that feathering or all the way up into your older years, I, I can see you really struggling with that because it's so, it's one of those things that once you see, you're just like, oh, like, how do I get rid of this. It's so annoying. And these are just fantastic. I highly recommend them. Again, regardless of age or, or whatever you have got going on, if you have feathery lips or not, they're just a really, really fantastic lip liner. Highly recommend. Now, the second item I have used the most out of this collection would have to be the mascara. This mascara, it's the Age Perfect Mascara. Okay, I thought, it, I thought it had a more creative name than that, but this mascara is so, so nice. It builds up really well, and it actually gives you what I would say is more like dense lashes if you're going this way, it makes you look like you have more of them. So it gives you a fuller lash line and it also makes them a little bit more voluminous at the base, which I really like. It doesn't give you as much length as a lot of other mascaras, but if you build it up, I would say two or three coats, you are able to get a really nice length on them. Again, not like overly, you know, dramatic, holy cow, the longest ones I've ever seen, but you do get a beautiful balance of length and width and fullness from this mascara. That's just, it's so nice. And the consistency of the mascara is really nice. It's not super thin and watery, so it flakes everywhere, but it's not thick and goopy, so it, it's like too much or too robust on your lashes. It's nice and lightweight. Your lashes don't fall, at least mine don't. And also, fun fact, it does work well with the Milani Lash Primer, so if you're looking to add a little bit more of that fullness, 
okay, goodbye. If you're looking to add that fullness, you can do it as well. The mascara, I guess, is done with this conversation, so. <laughs> Next product. Another item from this collection that I loved was the eyeliners. These are so, so nice. The Age Perfect Satin Glide Eyeliners. I have it in black. I believe I have it in brown and or white as well. And I have used these so, so much, especially this black one right here. Oh my gosh, they work so well. It's a really beautiful, like deep, dark black shade and it glides on so beautiful and you don't have to really work to build up any color. It's very instantaneous. And not only does it last really well and work beautifully on the waterline, you can actually take it up on the lashes on the top of them right here and it smudges really nicely. So you can kind of work it in between your lashes and create like a faux line and make it look a little bit grungy. I've been doing that a lot too with this and it looks so, so beautiful, lasts really well and it just, Overall, it's such a mobile workable product, but then after you leave it alone and you let it set, it also sets really well and, and really grips to your makeup. So I've been using this a lot actually, regardless of if I was doing more intense like dramatic makeup or if I was doing my normal like casual neutral kind of makeup because regardless of which way I was going, it was just so workable to whatever you know genre I was in. Um, it just, it works so well. The color is so true and so dense and it's, it's beautiful. I highly recommend these as well. Now, of course I wouldn't be me, right, if I didn't at least talk about one blush. So I'm going to be talking about the Age Perfect blush. This is in the shade 415 Peony. And I was just building you guys up a swatch so you can kind of see it. Uh, the hard part about this blush is that just swatching it like this, it doesn't really do it justice. Um, and today, obviously, I'm not wearing... Oh, I didn't mention that. Pause. If you've missed this video right here, I did a full face of the Glamour.com Beauty Favorites for 2020. And I'll link it up here. It was their Beauty Awards. That's what it was. Their Beauty Awards for 2020. And I will link it up here. Uh, because that's where everything came from for this face. Um, so again, I'm not wearing this, but I also love the blush I'm wearing. So you should go check that video out if you haven't. But with this, like I was saying, it's hard to build up a swatch and kind of show you in this sense. So I do encourage you to go watch the video because the, the video where I initially tested these out, because with these blushes, I have it in two shades. This one is my favorite. These give the most beautiful, like light radiance to your skin. And they do have a radiance in the blush that you can see, but it it isn't the kind that like emphasizes texture or like fine lines or makes you look um, makes you look like you just wiped highlighter all over your cheek. It's such a beautiful, lightly diffused radiance that I actually love to use this not only as a blush by itself on a light makeup day, but I also love using this to diffuse other blushes and like blend them out because it helps kind of go in and it blends out the edges, kind of like how when I take an hourglass powder and you guys will see me use that to buff in color, I can use this in a similar way to like buff out the edges of blush if they seem harsh or to add just a little pizzazz if I feel like my skin or my cheek area is looking a little bit too matte. You can add a little bit of this and it gives just the most light, soft, subtle radiance and it's just so, so beautiful. Again, there are other shades so if something this light isn't really your thing, totally understandable but I do recommend checking them out. Again, it's the Radiant Satin Blush. Everything will be linked down below but this is so beautiful. All right, and now last but not least, we do have to talk about the lipstick in the collection. Look at how beautiful that is. It's so shiny. This is one of the like satin lipsticks or the oil infused or something like that. Again, it'll be linked, but this is in the shade 210 Soft Mauve. And this lipstick works so well because you can really adjust the shade. You can wear a little bit less if you want just like a wash of color on like a more of a no makeup makeup day, or you can really build it up over here and get like a, a thicker, more intense swatch of it. And no matter which side you go with, whether it's a little bit more or a little bit less somewhere in between, this color and, and lipstick formula in general, it maintains the most beautiful, like soft feeling on your lips and it feels so nice and hydrating. So if you're someone that you want like the lipstick feel and appeal, but you don't want to go in with something that's going to dry you out and, and, and emphasize like the dryness of your lips or if you have cracks in your lips, that sort of thing, this is really nice. Again, a very practical, what I feel is a very practical option, kind of like with the lip liners, because as we get older and our lips start to have the feathering and the wrinkling and all of that, they also end up inherently being a little bit more dry and a little bit more kind of crusty looking, um, regardless of how nasty that feels. It's kind of the reality. Um, as you get older, that's just like what happens. And this is the type of product 
product that's going to make those those of us that have you know more wrinkly lips or more dried out lips more aged lips in general it's going to make it so we don't feel so out of place because it's going to make them look nice and juicy and hydrated without being without being just you know weird textured on your lips it's going to look nice and shiny and plump and i'm just i'm here for these these are so so nice highly recommend all right now moving away from the l'oreal age perfect finally we are going to talk about these little guys these are the elf bite-sized eyeshadows and oh my god i know everybody's already talked about them so i'm not going to drone on a ton but oh my word you guys the quality of these is so freaking fantastic um there are a couple of them that i use more than others but just know in general these are so nice like the quality the blend the shimmers 10 out of 10 like they're so nice yes there are a couple that have a little bit of a different consistency but overall for what you're paying you really can't go wrong with these now the ones that i've been using the most are pumpkin pie which is more of like an all brown kind of neutral moment the one that is very bad this one i've been using so much especially for this lighter matte shade on the end and then the palette uh, carnival candy and this one i've been loving for the two neutrals there's like a bone color and then a brown right next to it and then out of these other three you have a green a blue and a cool tone kind of brown type one and it isn't that I haven't used them obviously because I have it's just that lately I've been more on that neutral vibe kick and so I have gotten more use out of the other three but I had to put them in this video because it's when you reach for something every single day out of instinct you know that's something good and for so so long the only palette that I reached for was my Jackie Ina ABH palette it was like the only thing I wanted because it had the perfect amount of shimmers and nice little neutrals and you could really you know, build a nice deep eye you could build a little light eye and go out the door you could do so many things with it and it wasn't until recently that I've actually started switching over to something else and it was these little eyeshadow palettes because they're so freaking easy and nice and they blend beautifully and I I just highly recommend. Elf, you did it. You did a damn good job. These are fantastic. All right, so we're down to the last two products that I have to talk to you about, and this next one I have talked like your ear off on, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. This stuff is so good. I use it in the shade Birch, and this concealer is like... I, it's been a long time since I've been able to say that I love something that's even close to like my Tarte Shape Tape or anything like that. And y'all, this is up there, okay? The consistency is beautiful. It's nice. It's thin. It's lightweight. The coverage is beautiful. But for me, it's not just that it has beautiful coverage. It's that it has beautiful adjustable coverage. Like, I can wear this on a day where I'm wearing, you know, really light makeup and just put a dot under my eye and do a little bit of this business. It works beautifully and it really blends out. Still covers, but it gives me a little bit more workable light type coverage. Or on a full glam or a more glam day where I just need more coverage on my under eye in general, I can take it under my eye and just when I blend it out it is just such a seamless like force field of coverage and it's so beautiful but no matter how much of it I add never does it go on my under eye and look thick or cakey or overwhelming or dry me out or anything like that I'm shocked that I like this as much because their vanish foundation I absolutely hated that I thought it was like the worst thing they've ever done and this could not be more of a polar opposite for me like it works beautiful it blends out it's so nice and lightweight and it works and it has the perfect like creamy texture and consistency to it. I just, I, I highly recommend this even though I know there's, I've heard reports that other people don't like it. I really like it. And with that, you guys, we are officially to the last item and I am just as shocked as you to introduce an eyeshadow palette and that would be this little guy from Flower Beauty. This Jungle Lights eyeshadow palette is so freaking good. It's obviously six shades. They're all shimmers. And oh my word, if you want an impactful, beautiful ass palette, these are so like, look at that. Look at that. How could you even? I'm just gonna, you know, swatch some for you because wow, your life will never be the same. Like guys, this is one swipe of each of those colors. The power, the pigmentation, the shine, everything about these is so good. And I think what I love about them the most is that because the shades themselves hold so much power, they're so easy to work with because all I have to do is throw like a really quick matte color through my crease. Um, if I'm working with like these two right here, the more neutral shades, all I'll do is throw some bronzer through the crease. I can put this all over the lid and I'm done. And when it comes to these other four shades over here, they're just as easy to use, which is, again, why I love them. All I do is find a corresponding matte shade that will go with these, and I can work that through the crease, put these all over the lid, boom, you have an eye look, and it takes like 12 seconds, and it's such a beautiful eye look that it looks like you tried. It has a ton of dimension, a ton of sparkle, and they're just so soft and so buttery, and the payoff is 
perfection. Oh my gosh, I highly recommend this. If it's in stock at Ulta, I'll link it. Because if memory serves, I think Kathleen Light said that she fell in love with this a few months ago in her favorites, and then it went out of stock on Ulta, but it was still available on the Flower Beauty website. So I'll try to find it and link it down below for you guys, but oh my god, like, this is so good, and I think it's like 20 bucks or 18 but something like that. So it seems a little bit more expensive for drugstore, for the packaging and everything, but trust me when I tell you, Oh my god, like if you love beautiful, shiny, sparkly things, girl, you are gonna be all set. And all right, you guys, that is the end of my month and favorites. Of course, I wanna hear yours down below, so that way I have something new to check out. Um, whether it's drugstore, high-end, I don't care, something you bought on a sale, whatever, let me know down below. And you know what, even if it's not makeup, I'm okay with that too, whether it's, you know, hair care, skin care, what have you, leave me your favorites down below because you'd be shocked how often I actually go through and I shop your guys' favorites. It's, it's actually one of my favorite things to do, fun fact, uh, because I just, you guys have so such a valuable vast knowledge and especially when like one of you writes a comment and then like somebody else comes under it and they're like oh my god I love that too and then I'm over here like well, I need to get that okay I need to move because it's just you guys have just as much a knowledge as I do and I just love hearing from you so leave me all of your thoughts and opinions down below now just above those comments up in the description box I will have my Instagram and my Twitter listed as well as all of these products so if you want to shop them and check those out you can do that as well if you want to follow me like I said my Instagram and Twitter will be linked down there I am I'm much more active over on Instagram, especially with everything that's going on, whether it's in my uh, my IG stories or on my feed, posting pictures, you know, that sort of thing. You can check that out. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet and turned on your post notifications, please be sure to do that as well. I do upload three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. So subscribe, turn on your post notifications. And you guys, that is it. With that, we close another month. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I am as shocked as you to be introducing another, another, another. Mm, look at that top mauve one. I don't even want to wipe you off, girl. You look like ice cream. Ice cream I want to eat with my eyes. <sighs> my hair is like really flat right here and it's really starting to bother me. So let's just like zhuzh her up a little. Let's give her a little life back. Come on now. Ain't nobody needs flat hair. Flat hair don't care bullshit. Yes, she does. Okay, let's be real. And hello, beautiful people. Beautiful people.